Welcome back to Whole Future, guys. Very excited. Got a recipe video for you guys today. Spent some time trying to figure out a way to do these a lot better in my apartment, and I think I got a setup that works. So I'm excited to share this with you. This recipe I did not come up with on my own. I'm going to say it outright. I stole it from my friend Hannah, who uh, has a YouTube and Instagram. I'll put those up. She doesn't really post that much videos, but uh, she made this for me one time, and I liked it so much. I decided to make it again. So what you're basically going to need is um, some zucchini. So we got the zucchini here. Uh, I like three of them. That makes about enough uh, zoodles for me. And then, um, ooh, forgot one of the ingredients. You're going to need some dates. I'm soaking a bunch of uh, organic Sahiti dates right now, but use any kind of soaked dates that you want. Soak them in water, kind of loosens them up. It makes it easier to make a sauce out of them. We've got uh, four large mangoes. Uh, I like the Altolfo mangoes. I think they're the best. But you know, any mangoes you can find is going to work. And then um, some basil. So that is one, two, three, four ingredients. Real easy, right? So um, what you're basically going to do is spiralize the zucchini. I got this uh, little dealy. It's a little handheld guy. I can't remember the name of it, but I'll put a link down below. It's no moving parts, really, real uh, small, and uh, it travels well. And I really like the noodles that it makes better than my old spiralizer. And this thing is like under 10 bucks. So I got some zucchinis that are already peeled. If you're using organic zucchinis, you might be okay with like not peeling it, but I, these are conventional zucchinis. Uh, so we are, we are, um, peeling them first beforehand and so now I'm just making zoodles with this thing so you can kind of like just twist it like this it's all manual you get a good workout of your um, supinator muscles or your pronator muscles depending on uh, which group you like to use so we'll fast forward through this part So, we're finishing up the sauce here. I got most of it prepped. Just want to show you the last bits. Ended up using uh, five mangoes, but really what you do is you just cut them, their little shoulders off like this, and then you can just kind of scoop the mango meat out with a spoon like so. And uh, there you go. So that's that. We got the dates here. You definitely, you know, you want to have them been soaking, especially if you buy them at the store, they're just really dried out and it's not going to blend into sauce as well. So then you just make sure you get the pit out, okay? And, uh, because if you get the date pit in there, it's just you ruin, like, you could, could break the blender, definitely ruin the taste of the smoothie, like, you got to be extra sure to get the pits out, because that's just, um, there's bad news if those date pits get in your smoothie. So, um, Got it ready to go, and we're just gonna blend this guy up just a little bit here. So we got the Vitamix here. This is like the premium blender. If you're getting into a healthy eating pattern, raw foods, vegan diet, plant-based diet, the Vitamix is like the kingpin. It makes it so much easier. Yes, it's an expensive blender, but man, it's like worth it. Everybody I know who says, oh, it seems too expensive, and then eventually gets one, is like, why would I wait? Why did I wait? It was totally worth it. They come with like a huge warranty. This thing's already kind of broken on me once. Sent it back in, no questions asked. They fixed it. It's a really, really good blender. So we will just kind of, I'm not used to doing this from the other side. Okay, so now that we blended that, we didn't put in the basil yet. We saved that because um, what really makes these herbs, what makes their taste pop is if you pulse blend them into the uh, into the um, the dressing. So what we're gonna do is just kind of um, we're gonna pull it apart here. Get the leaves. Don't get the stem. The stems it make, doesn't make it taste good. I mean, it's probably healthy if you eat it, but stay away from the stem as far as putting it in your uh, smoo. 
So we're just going to kind of poke it down in there a little bit because we want to just, it's going to be quick. It's going to be like blink and you miss it, guys. Okay. Oh, yeah, mangoes and dates. I'm not going to go wrong with that. And then uh, we're just going to turn her on. And then... That's it. Pulse blend real quick. Preserve the taste of that herb. And now we got it. And we can just pour the sauce on the zoodles. Like so. Nice and thick. Nice and creamy. <laughs> and that's dinner right there, fellas. Okay. So, let's give it a taste test. So now this is where the rubber meets the road. Um, got the zoodles, just going to mix it up here. I, 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 uh, I snuck a uh, taste of it while I was um, putting everything away. And man, it's like, look at that. Look at that, plenty of sauce. And when you make raw foods like this, it's low fat and, you know, just fresh ingredients, nothing processed. You know, you can make as much sauce as you want, you know? Like, when I was a kid, I always wanted to, like, smother my spaghetti in the sauce. And now I get to. And the sauce is just as healthy as the noodles. So eat up. That tastes like Chinese food. Like, I can't even... I forgot that. <laughs> it tastes so good. It's like... It tastes like sweet and sour, like, kind of... There's some kind of, like, it just brings flashbacks of, like, Chinese restaurant, which I haven't eaten at in, like, years. And, uh, man, that's, like, so good. I, I literally, like, forgot how good this recipe is. So, uh, I'm going to get busy chowing down on this stuff. But, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more recipes or if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. And I'll catch you guys next video. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for watching guys, you can also check out these two popular videos. Subscribe to my channel and be sure to check me out on Instagram and Facebook as whole future as well. This is a kind of sweet savory zoodle dress...